Hi everybody, it's Nancy and today I'm going to um, make another card out of a new stamp from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. This is part of their new May 2019 release. This one is called Cowgirl and Cowboy. Um, I think it's so cute. They have this large and this smaller silhouette image. Also has the dog. Um, and honestly, I was looking at the stamp and it's um, you could even cut the dog off if you wanted to and have a separate dog stamp. So just some versatility there. It doesn't hurt your stamps at all to cut them. But the sentiment is super cute. It says a real cowgirl can do it all by herself, but a real cowboy won't let her. So super, super cute set. So I thought, okay, let's make, you know, what I've been really um, liking lately is the um, sunset scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off by making my background. I'm using some Bristol Smooth Paper. This is the Nicole brand. It's 100 pounds, so it's heavy uh, duty, but it's, um, again, it's Bristol Smooth. So, because we're going to be using some Distress Inks to blend. And all I'm going to do is just on the back side here, and I'm just using a Copic, Copic Multiliner, is um, just kind of drawing this you know, horizon here. All right, very simple to do. The next part of that is I am going to color in the background with some Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo, just the bottom part. Very light hand here in doing this. Kind of want it to look like, you know, dirt. And this will work with like regular distressings too. I just been have been playing around with my distress oxide so they were out on the desk. And get as close to that line that we drew as possible. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, now I wanna do this kind of sunset look. So I have a piece of double-sided, um, a piece of post-it note paper here. So I'm just gonna use a little circle punch to cut that. And I'm gonna put this off into the corner here, right on that line again. It's just in the background there. And I'm gonna go in with some mustard seed and I think I need to, yeah, this, my sponge had started to pull apart from the felt, so I'm just going to get rid of my sponge. All right, I'm going to start off of the paper and bring that yellow in towards the bottom here. And I'm going to go in with the next color, which is ripe persimmon. Same thing, go off of the paper. I keep forgetting that this color is so heavy and I have to be a little light-handed with it, but that's okay. It'll blend out on this Bristol Smooth. Just going to keep going over it until we get it to blend out. And then the last color I'm going to use is um, some picked raspberry. Actually, nope, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in with the wilted violet. This has been my go-to color combo lately, so.
to just give it a little more dramatic effect, I'm going to go in with the Blue Night Rubber Stamps Cloud Stencil. And I'm just going to add a couple of spots, not a whole bunch. So that's with the Wilted Violet. I'm going to go in a little bit with the Ripe Persimmon and go down over here. Just real subtle adding those cloud formations. Okay. Just going back over again and softening up the lines. Which pushes those cards back into the, or clouds back into the background. Now we're going to lift our stencil and right there where it's light, I am going to color back in with the mustard seed, but I'm going to be very light handed with it. So it's still going to be yellow, but you'll be able to see that that is the sun going down in the background. Okay. All right. So that's our background. And now it's just really just stamping um, your image down. It'll go right there in the center. I'm going to use some Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. nice really nice solid solid image there okay now I don't really want to leave it barren like that so I'm going to take a gray marker and just going to kind of fill in the background like maybe there's like a mountain back here mountain range just taking a gray copic this is n5 And going with N7 again, it's just a little bit darker gray and just kind of outlining that. Do I dare draw a cactus? You know what? Yes, I'm going to draw a cactus. 
I'm going to draw a cactus right here, real big, next to the dog. And I'm using that same N7. I'll color it in more in a minute. Going with N9, which is a much darker neutral gray. Outline my cactus here. Color him in a little darker. I think I made my cactus too deformed. Overdid it. Sorry, cactus. That's all right. Um, maybe back here we have some other. Not as deformed cacti. All right, I like my smaller cacti better than my bigger ones. All right, so there we go. And I would just mount this to card base and if you want to put your sentiment on there. But really quick and easy way to make a nice scene. I think I'm going to cut this down a little bit and then we'll put the sentiment on it. Um, let me grab that. Let's see here. go. Oh, I'm really happy with that one. That one's not too bad. A real cowgirl can do it all by herself, but a real cowboy won't let her. Really cute scene um, from the cowboy and cow cowgirl and cowboy set from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. I'll link that down below for you guys. Again, part of the new May 2019 release. Um, keep an eye out. I will list the other designers for you guys as well so you can check out what they have on their blogs. If you have any questions, post it down below. If you like this video, I appreciate you guys' thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I'll put a little dot right there where you can subscribe. And if you hit the bell well, every time you get notifications whenever I post a new video. So there we go, guys. Thanks for watching as always. And keep on stamping. Bye-bye.